Hello everyone, welcome to week three of the Physiotherapy Exercise and Physical Activity course. I'm Rachel Lowe from Physiopedia and I'll be doing the introduction to week three for us today. Um, week two, we've been exploring specific populations in younger people, older adults, individuals with disability. It's been really interesting to explore those specific populations as they're a large proportion of our society. Um, we also had a look at social determinants of health, um, beginning to explore those and, and how they can affect physical activity or physical inactivity as well. So this week, um, in week three, we are moving on to explore more clinical conditions. We'll be looking at clinical conditions in weeks three and four. And this week in week three, we'll be looking at non-communicable diseases. Um, five of the diseases of this world that are some of the world's largest causes of morbidity and mortality. Um, so it's really important that we explore those. Um, we kind of looked a little bit at, uh, there are modifiable and non-modifiable risk factors for these diseases. And we looked a little bit at the non-modifiable risk factors last week in the social, social determinants of health. Um, and the modifiable risk factors for these diseases are, um, there, are there are a list of them, um, tobacco, alcohol, um, and physical activity is one of those and so we'll be just exploring that briefly but but exploring the physical activity side of that modifiable risk factor for the non-communicable communicable diseases um, more deeply so yeah we'll be exploring each non-communicable disease in turn looking at the benefits of phys physical activity for those diseases and and exploring how they affect society so um, a really interesting week moving into the clinical side of things which should should be really good so please keep up your engagement levels with the discussion forum we've been really pleased with all the comments and discussions that have, you've been adding um, especially with the links when people when you find good pieces of research that we can learn from it's really useful that you add those to the discussion forum so that we can all learn from each other you know we can all be teachers and we can all be learners on this course and that's what we're hoping for with the discussion forum um, that we can all use that forum as a space to share our knowledge so please Please keep do engaging with the discussion forum um, and we look forward to seeing you in there talking about non-communicable diseases in week three.